As Britain's youngest headmaster, I have to be everywhere at once, in lessons, in the staff room, occasionally in court, but always in high spirits. <laughs> How do I do this, I hear you ask? I give you... the future. Versatile. Versatile. I want those reports on my desk by end of play today. Still working. Fast, quiet and efficient, the seg desk has all the attributes of a Victorian lover. So hop on one today. Rosie, what I'm about to do doesn't mean that I don't support you. And I still think that my dad's being a dick. But I need to think about my kids. I'm putting an end to this strike. I'm crossing the picket line and I'm negotiating. I'm sorry. Finally come to your senses. Traitor! Judas! 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 I quit! If that's the only way that I can get everyone back into school, then that's the way it's got to be. You don't have to. We can break them! But how long's that gonna take? Days? Weeks? I can't risk that. My kids need to be learning and that's not gonna happen out here. No, sir. You can't quit. No, Chantel. You deserve a better teacher. Maybe this is for the best. So, Dad, reluctantly, I take this redundancy. The strike's over! did showed real courage. I hope I proved a point. This whole thing was getting completely out of hand. Thankfully now, we can all go back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Alfie, joking to the last. We're gonna miss you, son. Miss me? <laughs> well, you did just resign. Yeah, but I mean, I was kind of only doing the whole I quit thing to show everyone how ludicrous the whole situation was. I didn't actually have to lose my job, do I? But I've still got to find the money from somewhere. And I did plead with the governors, but they were going to insist I sack you anyway. If only you'd shown this pluck during your review, instead of all that guff about threesomes. If it's any consolation, you've saved me a lot of soul-searching. Yeah, it's no consolation whatsoever.